I'm quite emotional and with some pieces in my Fun Pan collection, I have a more emotional connection. So basically this review is going to be a walkthrough memory lane. So stick around and I want to tell you the story. Hello there, welcome. It's your host Amy from Penventure and welcome to another review on the Penventure YouTube channel. Well, today's candidate for this review is a special font pen for myself and it is the Visconti Chianti Shire Homo Sapiens. I'm going to tell you the story of the Homo Sapiens line. First of all, I would like to start saying that Visconti first introduced the Bronze Age Homo Sapiens line in 2010. I have to admit that I've came into this hobby before the Homo Sapiens was introduced. Back then, Dante Del Vecchio, the CEO, founder, designer, pen maker, introduced the Bronze Age Homo Sapiens and it was like nothing else before. A very interesting filling system, the power vac filling system, basaltic lava, the material, it was something that like it came out of a different planet. Basically the next best thing that came around in Visconti, in my opinion, was the Homo sapiens demonstrator line. And the first model in the Homo sapiens demonstrator line was the crystal. I mean, that is something that I still look for till this day, that font pen, I don't have it in my personal collection. And that was launched in 2014, April. The next release in the same series happened in September, the same year, 2014. And it was the Florentines Hill, is this one right here beautiful pen, green, you have demonstrator parts, material, it's exceptional. I love this font pen a lot. In 2016, we had another launch and that was the London Fog, which again, I have here. A beautiful pen, this blue, this font pens are so, so looked after in these days. In 2017, August, we had the star of the today's review, the Chianti Shire. This is what I call the trinity of the Visconti demonstrator line. One of the best feelings to open that big wood box and get to see your fun pen. From then I've started collecting more and more and I've reached the point that I can call myself a Italian fun pen collector. Today it's very emotional for me because I've had the chance to get a few pieces from the Chianti Shire collection for me to retail. Finally, a font pen that I looked up to collect, these days I can resell on my platform. And this is emotional because that means that I'm on the track and I'm progressing and I'm happy that I was able to do that for my clients that are watching. Let's start to review this font pen. I'm gonna start with the box. This is what you get if you order a Chianti Shire Homo Sapiens from our website. This is the box. This is not a big wood box. Those are not available anymore. Price of the Chianti Shire that you will find on the Pen Venture platform will reflect that missing wood box. If you open the box, it's nothing new. And this is the cardboard box from Visconti. Under it, you will find a uh, warranty guide and instructions plus a ID card for the font pen. I'm gonna show you two examples that I have here and each of them beautiful in their own way. Every single font pen is unique and the color pattern shows this. Let's put my personal font pen near them. You can get lines, you can get swirly material, you can get pretty much every single combination possible. And now that we got over my story with the Chianti Shire, let's analyze the font pen, let's go into some of the details. I want to show what makes it great, what makes it unique, then we will put it side by side with different font pens so you guys can understand the overall dimensions. We will have a writing sample. At the end of the video, I'll put everything together. Let's start. I want to start with the finial. This is the new finial from Visconti. It has that V logo of Visconti. This font pen features the MyPen system so you guys can customize the finial by removing it with a magnet and you can substitute it with zodiac signs, semi-precious stones or name initials. On my personal Chianti Shire, 
you have here a semi-precious stones. I think it's tiger eye. Moving forward, we have the clip. This is the very well-known Visconti Ponte del Vecchio clip. And this clip is inspired by a famous bridge in Florence where Visconti has its own HQ and the manufacturing facility. It's a very practical clip. It doesn't have any sharp edges. It's spring-loaded and is designed in such a way that you can clip it to expensive coats without risking it getting snagged. The cap shape overall is very nice, very practical. If you keep a homo sapiens in your hands, you will feel it like it's molding to your hands and the tapering of the cap allows just that to happen. As you can see, it starts to pick up in girth from the finial towards end of the cap. And we have the two iconic rings of any Homo sapiens on the cap. There are two rings, those are made in sterling silver. I forgot to point out that on the clip we have enamel and this is not laser engraved like on different Viscontis. The material on the cap is translucent. It's not that translucent as different parts of the barrel, but it's quite nice because it contrasts the cap with the semi-clear barrel and this resin that you have here is gorgeous. You have a few white specks and lines in that red resin. Basically the Chianti Shire is inspired by a region in Tuscany which is well known for their wines and sunny hills. If you watch this red you will see that is very very close to if you pour some red wine in a glass it's pretty much the same thing. Now let's open the cap and we are going to do just that using the hook safe lock mechanism. This mechanism allows you to uncap the fountain pen with maybe I would say that is a quarter of a turn and you uncap the pen. This is so satisfying. I'm gonna bring the fountain pen closer to the microphone. I'm gonna show you the satisfying sound of a closing homo sapiens. This is what you will hear. I love that snapback. I love that the fountain pen is very, very responsive in that regards. And let's move the cap aside. And this is the nib. On our Visconti Chianti Shires Homo Sapiens on our website, you have two nib choices. We have a 18 karat gold nib, which is made in-house by Visconti, available on the Chianti Shire, and also a 23 karat palladium dream touch nib. Visconti discontinued, so we have a few of them available. I believe we only have available the extra fine point, if I'm not mistaken. You can check that on our platform. The nib is so, so spectacular. As you can see, this is the 18 karat in-house made gold nib from Visconti. This nib is fitted with a ABS plastic feed and together with the nib friction fitted inside a plastic collar forming the Visconti nib unit, the section of the Homo sapiens. And this is probably one of my favorite and most comfortable sections ever on a font pen. It is not skinny, it's quite comfortable, it's not too long and no matter how you grip your Homo sapiens it feels comfortable. This is the shape of the section is like hourglass shape. It's thinner in the middle and it's girthier on both ends. Then we have the capping grooves from the hook safe lock mechanism and those are not sharp machined with great attention to details. Another feature that is present on each and every Homo sapiens, this barrel ring right here. On this ring you will have two very very fine engraved lines and in between those lines you will find a engraving with homo sapiens opposite to that you will find the limited edition number the homo sapiens demonstrator line is limited to 888 pieces italians have something with 888 or 88 or the number 8. Pretty much every single year you will see that the Homo sapiens demonstrator line is limited to 888 pieces. Uh, the barrel of the fountain pen. Usually on a few 
of the Homo sapiens demonstrator font pens, like for example the crystal that I don't have here. Then we have the Florentine Hills, this one right here, and the London Fog. The material from the barrel was made by taking shavings of celluloid along with clear resin and the combination between the celluloid shavings and clear resin was named by Visconti Acryloid. But I think the Chianti Shire, although it's called Acryloid, this is not made from celluloid shavings. At least from my experience and seeing the material and how the swirls of the Chianti Shire are, I think that is resin. And we have sunny yellow, very, very nice dark red. And this is the fun pen that I have here. I wanna show you the other one that we have in stock and this is more swirly in pattern. It features swirls and not lines, or at least lines and more swirls. And what's funny is that the barrel serves both as practical purpose and also visually satisfying because let's face it everyone wants to see the ink inside the barrel and how much your fountain is inked up with that is the practicality aspect of it other than this i can tell you that every single one that sees a homo sapiens being filled with ink likes to play with it like so and this is how the ink is slushing in the barrel and this is something that I like at the Homo sapiens line. We have practicality both with visual impact and that's nice. And we finish with the piston knob. This is made out of the same color as the cap, this dark semi-translucent red. And it's possible to post the Homo sapiens like so, but it becomes quite back heavy. I don't use my Homo sapiens posted. And now the filling system. The filling system on the Chianti Shire is the trademark Visconti double reservoir power filler. I wanna show you how to use this filling system. You untwist the end knob, then you pull like so. So you extend the rod with the piston. Now you are going to submerge the fountain pan in ink till this level right here. Then you're going to start pressing on the end knob. Vacuum forms behind the piston and once you reach the lower part, that vacuum bursts like so and ink starts to come through the section into the font pen barrel. This is the sound that the font pen is making when you fill it up with ink. And I think this is it in regards of details. This is how the Homo sapiens Chianti Shire looks and feels and those are the particular things about it. I think it's time to put it side by side with different font pens. I'm gonna use for the writing sample the 23 karat Palladium Dream Touch Extra Fine Point because I love extra fine. And in the end, I'm gonna tell you a few of my personal thoughts on this font pen and we will end the video. Here is the Chianti Shire standing next to other pen models. From left to right, we have Leonardo of China Italiana Momento Zero, Visconti Opera Master Crimson Tide, Visconti Homo Sapiens Chianti Shire, Leonardo of China Italiana Furore Grande, Blue Hawaii, and Mont Blanc 1912. The measurements for the font pen, we have 145 millimeters capped 130 millimeters uncapped, 170 millimeters posted, and the total weight of the font pen fully inked and capped 41.5 grams and uncapped 25.5 grams. Here we go with the writing sample, and we have the pen, Visconti, Homo sapiens. Chianti Shire, the ink, and here we have the Visconti Burgundy, also known as red. The nib, and this is the sublime 23 karat palladium dream touch beautiful beautiful nib as you know my favorite paper is tomoe river 
52 GSM and this is the paper that we are on right now and let me show you how this nib is performing in regards of flow this is one pass this is a double pass this is not too wet from an extra fine point but it's on the wet side it's controlled precise now let's do a bit of figure of eights this is normal no pressure and let's apply a little bit of pressure to see how the nib is flexing and this is where the dream touch conquers everyone it's nice it's responsive it's soft and it has a little bit of give and you can obtain more character from your writing if you apply a little bit of pressure now i think it's time to do the sentence the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog amazing this nib is very very nice it's precise it's with a hint of a feedback but nothing unpleasant if you're looking for a more smoother experience i would say that you need to look for a medium point or a broad point but this 23 karat palladium extra fine nib is amazing it's smooth it's nice it has no skippings no hard stars nothing whatsoever the pen writes under its own pressure and this shows very very nice wow 23 karat palladium dream touch nib Mwah. those never never disappoint at least they don't disappoint me well there is a few people that say on the internet that palladium dream touch nibs have a problem with qc and they are not so consistent in regards of the writing experience but what i can say is that i personally check each and every nib. I'm not sure how many write or don't write, but at least every single font pen that is sold by Venture is checked and adjusted by myself. So if you want to have a candy share with a 23 karat palladium dream touch nib, I'm gonna make sure that it writes like the name. Dream touch, not nightmare, dream touch. What do I love about the Chianti Shire? I love the color, I love how it's built, and I love the fact that I can see the ink slushing in the barrel and I can get to play with the ink in the barrel as much as I want. The Dream Touch nib is amazing. Every single aspect of such a fountain pen is very, very well built and the quality is there. I would like to point out one single thing. You need to be very careful when you get to carry a fun pen like a demonstrator homo sapiens no matter which one the Chianti Share or others is that the capping mechanism is a little bit more easy to open let's say if you try to insert the font pen in a very tight case or something like this you get to press on this spring and very easy you can uncap the font pen this is not something that you will have with a bronze age for example this one because the material is much more porous you need a little bit more push if you want to uncap a bronze age being that the Chianti Shire and all other demonstrators are made out of uh, resin very smooth the uncapping motion takes less effort the Chianti Shire is a very interesting font pen it is quite rare it was made in 2017 so three years ago it's not that available in our days I was fortunate enough to get a few from Visconti and at that price that you have it listed on our website you get not a good deal you get a perfect deal if you ask me if you're interested in welcoming one in your personal font pen collection down below in the description of this video you will find the link for it you can go there and you can click on the option that you want for the nib nib size it's in stock as soon as we get an order 
I'm going to ship it. You can write down in an email what you are looking for in regards of a writing experience and I will personally handle the nib and adjust it to your needs. I hope you enjoyed content like this and if you did so, give it a thumbs up. This will help me a lot. If you want to support me doing videos like this, subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to watch more of my content, click on this video and enjoy. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.